What's going on YouTube? It's Dan, it's Ken, it's Dan and Ken PT. And today, we're gonna to talk about scoliosis and three exercises to help with your curvature. Let's talk about scoliosis and what it is. So the spine curves normally in the sagittal plane, which is this plane here. But when you have scoliosis, it curves in the frontal plane, which is this plane here, like this, or like this. And there's also a rotational component too, which makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, about 80% of scoliosis cases are adolescent idiopathic, which happens to uh, teenagers during puberty. Um, Dan, let's talk a little bit about the symptoms or lack of. Symptoms commonly are stiffness, pain in your back. A lot of times you could have some mild scoliosis and you can be pain-free, symptom-free. Um, in other cases, if you are symptomatic, you're having pain, then you wanna go see a doctor. Um, we do have three exercises we're gonna show you today that could help you out. And before that, let's go a little bit more in depth in the anatomy and explain um, what scoliosis looks like um, on a person that actually has it. As you can see in this picture, there are many types of scoliosis, thoracic, lumbar, thoracolumbar, or combined in which they curve in different directions. The bottom line here is to treat the curve that is the biggest or the most impacting on your life. Um, Dan's gonna show you a clinical picture to give you a better idea of what this looks like. So here you can see a real life example of scoliosis. So here we're looking at a right thoracic curve. So in the x-ray, you could see her thoracic spine is curved to the right, and then in the middle picture, you could see that standing, looking in behind her, you can see that her back is curving, and you could see that convex side on the right side. And as, you, as she forward bends, you see her spine rotating toward the convex side, so you're having that right rotation there. So we're gonna go over three exercises to treat this specific patient and assume um, that there's a right thoracic curve. Okay guys, the first exercise is the cat camel. This one's gonna work on your flexibility as well as decrease pain. So what you wanna do first is get on your hands and knees. So you're gonna arch your back all the way up like a camel. And then you're gonna hunch down, tilt your head up like a cat. You're just gonna alternate between the camel position and then back down to the cat. You're gonna feel a good stretch through your spine. So just nice and slow. Repetition doesn't matter, but consistency does. So just make this a part of your plan three days a week. It's a good place to start. Okay guys, this next exercise is called the sideline oblique crunch. So you're gonna lay on your left side. Remember, we're treating someone with a right thoracic curve. So lay on your left side or the concave side because we want to strengthen the convex side. You could put one of your hands on the floor, the other hand behind your head to support your neck. Now, this is important. Keep your elbow facing the ceiling. Okay, guys? So you're gonna do a little mini crunch. You're gonna feel right here, those obliques, and down slow. Not, not this, watch, this is incorrect. That's not correct. Elbow to the ceiling. Feel a nice squeeze here. Consistency, guys, not reps. Don't worry about the reps, it's about the consistency. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 20 reps is a good place to start, guys. Okay, guys, the third exercise is a prayer stretch with a unilateral stretch. So since we have a right thoracic curve, we're gonna stretch towards the right. Remember, we wanna strengthen that convex side, okay, and stretch the concave side. So I'm gonna reach forward, and then I'm gonna to reach to the right. You're gonna feel a nice stretch on the left. You're gonna hold that maybe for 30 seconds, two or three times. And you're gonna do that about three times a week. Consistency, guys, consistency. Okay, guys, just to recap, we talked about the causes of scoliosis, what it is, um, some brief anatomy 
and a couple exercises to help with your symmetry of your spine. Now, Dan and I want to make something very clear here. The biggest thing you could do if you have scoliosis is strengthen your convex side and stretch your concave side. Does that sound right, Dan? Yep. So if you have a, uh, a right-sided curve, you want to strengthen that right side and stretch the left side, okay? Um, guys, have a great Memorial Day. Be safe. Um, Dan, do you have any comments today? Great. So if you like the video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you have questions or suggestions for future videos, please don't hesitate to email us at danandkenpt at gmail.com. And remember, live, laugh, love.